In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a payment option to Google Forms. Now, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial, and I'm going to walk you through exactly what you need to do here, step-by-step, -step, right? So first, you need to go ahead and create a form. I'm going to use this example form here. Have you subscribed? I'm just going to change this here to services, and maybe we want to add prices and what the services are. So for $100, we're going to have channel review, and I'm just making services up here. Obviously, you would have a reason for adding a payment option, and then option to let's just do like $200 for channel manager. So you want to go ahead and add in your services in a multiple choice. So now what you need to do is you need to go to the three dots in the top right hand corner and then go to get add-ons. And what we can do here is we can add the payment option add-on. So we want to go ahead and search apps and just search for payable forms. So go ahead and click on payable forms and you should see it here, payable forms, let your Google forms accept payment like magic. So click on this first one and install it. And you can see here it works with Google Sheets and Google Forms. So go ahead and add this to your account. I'm going to do that now. Click allow. And there you go. It's now being installed. Once it's installed, it's going to ask you to get started. So click get started and you want to go ahead and change these settings, your default language, your home country, change this here to UK, my currency as well. I'm going to change to US. SD, and I'm going to then click looks good. So now it's going to tell you how you need to create your Google Forms. So you can see you need to create a form with the money option. And then they're going to use the text to the left of the money as your line item. This can work on multiple choice. And I'll just show you now. So we'll click open this sample form and this will, will show us right. So here you can see you just want to add your price and then anything to the left is going to be shown on the payment section. So let me just create this and show you right. So go to your Google form, close out of all of this. And then you want to go to add-ons, choose payable forms, then click configure payment settings. And then this is going to open. You then want to click on auto configure form and sheet. And then it's now set that up and it's connected it to a Google sheet, which you can then go ahead and preview right here. So this is going to be the responses. So you can see here in my multiple choice, I've added here this the wrong way. So I'm just going to type here channel review. And then you want to add the dash and then the dollar symbol, obviously, and then the price. So you want to have the price on the right and then the actual service on the left. Okay, so I've changed it to 100 and 300. Now, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and connect a payment provider. So click on that and you can then choose here any of these payment providers. So I'm going to click on PayPal and we'll connect PayPal here. So connect PayPal. So they're going to ask me to log into my PayPal, which I'll do now and confirm. So we are allowing PayPal to connect with this add on here and you can see it's going to be able to see some stuff here. It's not going to be able to do much, but it's just going to be able to search for your transactions. I'm happy with that. I'm going to agree. This is a trusted add on, so it's fine. Now we can go back to payable. Okay. So now you can see it's connected here. So we're going to close out of this window and it's going to check here and make sure that everything's all connected. So there we go. My PayPal account's now being connected. So now make this form payable. You want to change this to yes. It's going to then take you to this window and it's going to analyze everything and the format that you've typed everything in. So now make sure you keep testing mode on and then you want to click on this button and it's then going to open your form as a preview. So let's just try it. So I'll enter in an email here and I'll choose channel review and we'll click submit and the channel review is $100. Then it says payments required at the next step and people can then click on this. It's then going to redirect them to PayPal, I do believe. So calculating the total. Now, because this is in test mode, it is going to show you that it is free, but this is what the receipt will look like when someone goes through your form. To take it out of test mode, just open up payable forms by going to add-ons and then payable forms, and then configure options. You want to make sure testing mode is turned off. Also make sure the currency is on whatever currency you've actually wrote here for the price. And then that should work. I'm having some issues with it, but we'll try it once more. We'll go send, we'll copy this link. And obviously adding a payment option in Google Forms is not exactly a great solution, but now let's just see if it works. So we'll enter in an email. We'll click on channel review for $100, submit, pay this link, retype in the email, find my order, and there you go. Now it's going to ask us for $100. So now once we've turned off test mode, it is fully working. We just need to enter in our contact details here and then pay with the payment method that I added before. That's how you can do it. I hope that video did help you out.